we need half a million by 2029. Like how? Wow. How does that work? I mean, that's one of the things I wanted to ask you, and I'm not saying this is the solution, but I want to get your take as you spent more time in LA than I have as of late is, is as I drive around, it always intrigues me that we didn't build up. And I don't mean like Manhattan, but in some essence of Manhattan. So mm -hmm. why hasn't LA talked more about, hey, let's let's build up and it's going to make the city much more centralized. I mean, obviously they've done that in downtown, but again, is downtown where people want to go right now? I, I don't know. Yeah. Look, I think I've asked that question since the first day I stepped foot in the city in 2005. I think LA is um, such a weird metropolitan city and it's considered, a, you know, one of the global metropolitan cities of the world. And we have zero vertical living here. I mean, maybe not zero, but very, very little of it. Yeah, compared um, to the context of the rest of the world, right? I think it's a, a combination of, you know, zoning regulation and public opposition, local residents, you know, and if you go into outside of downtown LA, you know, whether it's call it West Hollywood, whether it's, um, you know, Silver Lake, whether it's, I don't know, Ventura even, think about it. Like the people, the local residents there, you know, they, nobody wants to have big buildings coming up all over their city, um, you know, for their own, for their own convenience, for their own, I guess, protection of, you know, their, their life and their lifestyles, whatever that is. But it's weird because we're, we're now at a, at a place where we really need to be focused on um, more vertical living. But I think that our greatest opposition right now is local residents. And then two, um, rezoning. 